Hi guys, welcome to my Scotch Tooth channel. This is Rob, and we're still working on Jewelry Jar 242. And um, the Hobby Lot is gone, so we'll be starting a new one. And this new one has already been claimed also. So, um, here's our bag. It's a quart, it's a gallon bag, and it's $5 a bag. And we're going to start out with this bracelet. Um, when I showed what was going in the other hobby lot, the uh, I'm going to put that in there. And um, the a person commented, say, can I have the next one? And I said, sure. So there you go. Um, let's see, what are we going to do? If, oh, I need to tell you how to order. If you want to order, you just comment in the comment section of this video, the timestamp, the description, and price of the item that I show. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've come back, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel or your information has changed, you need to email me at this address. Take a screenshot of that. For new people, I need your full name and your shipping address. And uh, your YouTube name, in case your YouTube name is different than your full name, so I can connect the two, your comments to your order. And uh, that's what I need. And what else? Shipping under a pound is uh, $5, and over a pound is eight thirty and up, depending on um, um, the size of the box and how heavy and all that good stuff. I try to use flat rate priority when I can, when it's to your advantage. So, uh, that I, but I also make sure I package the jewelry so that it comes to you, um, not broken. So you have to consider that too, when you're, um, shipping and invoicing is at the first of each month for the prior month's order. So all orders in May will be invoiced on uh, the 1st of June, if you're brand new and you order only one thing and you want to hold it another month, that's fine too. Um, to get the biggest bang for your dollar for shipping cost. So there, that's it. So um, we're nearing the end of this jar. We have a good many more pieces. And uh, so let's get started. These were very interesting. They are collar necklaces. They are very old. They're vintage. They're all prong set. You can see they've got a gold finish to them. And we, I've got two of these. Some of the stones in here are dark. It's clear rhinestone, but you know, as rhinestones and old vintage pieces, some of them turn dark. And you do have a few on each, each of these. There's two of these. So if you'd like one of these, they're ten dollars a piece. Just let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section with the timestamp and description and price. Forgot to get myself something to drink. So y'all, I hope you've got something to drink and you're sitting back and relaxing, enjoying um, either hunting for treasure or just watching the show. Or if it's uh, my voice puts you to sleep. Sometimes people tell me that. Ten each. Very cool vintage pieces. The next uh, piece I have here are two religious pieces. Um, this is a prayer piece of wood. Henry is king of the Jews. And then this beautiful piece. Here's the back. My Presidian is broken, and I do have a new probe, but I haven't set it up yet. So I can't test for stones. Of course, these have no stones in them. I think I see a mark on this. <clears throat> 120 of 14 carat is on this it says it on the place right in here on the clasp 
I don't know that you can see it. Let me see if I can get it to focus. But I looped it. So this is beautiful. A nice chain on this. I don't know about this piece here. I don't think I saw any markings. It's a beautiful golden color though. Let's see if it's magnetic. Nope. And neither is the chain. So we'll do both these pieces for 10. So if there's other resellers on here and you have a great light system, could you give me any um, um, recommendations or how you have your light system set up so it does a little better? Is it? I haven't tried changing this out. Maybe the glare back up is causing issues. I don't know. But 120 of 14 carat. Ten dollars for both pieces. The next, I'm going to show you the necklaces on the bust, the jewelry bust. We're going to do these two necklaces together, and this one with the glass blue glass beads and that confetti-looking uh, collar-style necklace, a shell necklace, and a giraffe. Ooh, I'm afraid I'm going to turn this. That's too far back. And that is the light. So let me turn that up. There you go. Those are the necklaces. <clears throat> All right, we'll do these two. Smaller necklaces. This is a prong set, beautiful green glass uh, stone in that. I don't know if it's real or not. Like I said, my presidian is not set up. You have to do it a certain way, and I have to look it up again. Nice chain on that with a spring ring clasp. I'd say it's 15 and a half inches because it goes to seven and three quarters. So that should be 15 and a half, maybe. Well, seven and a half and so it's 50. Yeah, 15 and a half. <clears throat> and then you have the silver tone necklace. Here's your uh, curb chain on this one. It's nowhere on the chain. It's got a lobster claw clasp. And it's longer. It is 20 inches. We'll do both of those for $4. Here's your confetti style necklace. It's in excellent condition. It's got a lobster cloth glass extender with the bead. Very cute. Fully extended, it's going to be 16 inches. So you can make it shorter. The extender on this is three inches. Very cute. We'll do that one for two. I love the blue glass uh, necklace I'm going to show next. It has a tassel. And the uh, cap to the tassel, or the bead above the, the tassel, has rhinestones in it. 
and I'm not showing because I'm still doing this part of this. Here we go. If I can get it off. There we go. If you'll recall, I attempted to show this uh, necklace before and the clasp broke. But here is your tassel and it has this little bead here that's magnetic and it is hooked to one of the ribbons one of the fringe or tassel parts there it is and then it just kind of brings them all together and then you can make it where it shows up like that this is blue I believe it's glass I'm not sure some of it feels cold some of it doesn't it may be plastic I don't know for sure this is your chain and the, I told you lobster claw clasp broke I put a brand new one on it same color the gunmetal color so it's in excellent condition now. And we'll do that for three. Very pretty. It's a purplish blue color. <clears throat> oh, y'all see that? Fiona did my nails and I still have that little heart. That's the only thing that was left of the nails. Because she used a little kitty polish and it just washes off with... Uh, with soap and water and also um, I had had little rhinestone things but this is the only thing that stuck and I told her I'm carrying her heart with me at all the time every time I look at it I think of her these are trafari and they are white but they have see that I don't know if that will come off. I don't think it will. I didn't try to get it off. Hmm. I don't know if it's hairspray or what. You can't notice it, you know, if you're far away. But if you get right up on it, you see it. And because of that, I'm going to put these in the Hobby Lot. The Hobby Lot's been claimed. The next I have is, I'm putting these two together. I've got this Choker Cowie uh, shell necklace. And then this giraffe. Let me see if that's silver. Oh, I think it is. Let's see. To move that over. Because it's sitting on top of my... If not, maybe it's pewter. I don't know. No, it disappeared. Let's see if it's magnetic. I should have done that first. Should have done that first. No. So it may be pewter. But it's a little um, giraffe on this cord. And we're going to do both of these for $2. Very cute. Okay. 
<clears throat> the next two necklaces, I'm going to sell these together because I think that's adorable. I love this little dainty lobster claw class extender. The chain is in excellent condition. It's a minimalist type, really dainty necklace. And then this beautiful rhinestone snowflake necklace. It's got a lobster claw class and extender with a bead. A nice weight to this. This is very lightweight, and this is a bit heavier. And I didn't see any markings back here on the back. We'll do both of these for three. I think they're lovely. Very pretty. Ooh, hubby gave me a tangle last night, Dundee. We were opening up some jewelry bags. And oh boy, it had like five necklaces tangled around this wire necklace. And they were very dainty necklaces. One was um, 14 karat. Another one was silver. And then the other two were not marked. You'll be seeing them in the future. Okay. I have some paparazzi. New in the bag. Pull it out. This one is a bracelet. These are sell new for five dollars. There's the back. And it's got an extender, probably a two inch extender with a lobster claw clasp. Very pretty. We'll do that for three. Lovely bracelet. Not everybody's a big fan of paparazzi. I have always enjoyed it, so that's all I have to say about that. And some of it is good for you using when it's very simple. You can add your own things to it. Here's a necklace with the matching earrings. Very pretty. I don't find anything wrong with these pieces. Beautiful. Rhinestones all set in prong set across here. These teardrops are prong set. Pretty uh, faux pearl. The chain is in excellent condition. This has got a very nice weight to it. Lobster claw class with a nice extender. Three dollars. if you're going on a trip and you want to kind of dress you know bling up but you don't want to take your good jewelry perfect perfect the next are these very large earrings I'm trying to figure out where I open it In excellent condition and they're like this if you like large earrings these are on the inside they're two and three quarters if you go from the outside of the earring to the other side they're three and a quarter <clears throat> you have to have a pretty long neck to be able to comfortably wear earrings like this. You've got a pretty neck, tall neck. They're very pretty on. If your neck is short and it, they're bouncing around on your shoulders, they become very uncomfortable. 
We'll do these for three. All these are going to be three. Unless they're missing something. But they're new in the package, so they should be okay. These have... Th now, this is what I'm talking about. You have your single-strand little rhinestones. And this is gunmetal in color. And you could add more chain to this or something in addition to this if you wanted to. And that's a little stapler. You've got multiple um, curved chains here. You do have the rhinestone that complements the earrings. Very cool. And don't really want to pull that through. I would have to undo it, but I imagine you would have a, uh, yeah, you definitely have a extender and see it's hooked on these earrings. I can't really take them off either without opening the package. Three dollars. Probably a lobster claw clasp with an extender. Here's the extender right here, so I know that's that to be true. Let's see if we uh can get to the end. Do this. Trying to keep the right. Yeah, there's the lobster claw class. So definitely lobster claw class and a nice extender on that. Three dollars. Gunmetal in color. This one has got a red pendant with, um, trying to figure out where to open it up. A red pendant with clear rhinestones and then clear rhinestone earrings. This one's double packaged, y'all. Here's your little earrings here. And then here's your pendant. Has a Rivoli. Rivoli. Rivoli stone. And then your rhinestone. Silver tone. Three dollars. Oh, this paper makes a lot of noise, and I apologize. I'm having a hard time getting it back in. I will get it done. There we go. That was double packaged. And I have a package for this one, too. These are just earrings. And these are not, these are paparazzi. And they should have a necklace to go with them. So I'm just going to throw them in here. This is another one that you can add beads to this and make it even um, different to what, or customize it to what you would like to have that earring have. And then we have these with these seeds on them. And they are not paparazzi. They are not magnetic. Where's my stone? Yeah. 
Those look like they're silver wires. Let's see. Oh, come on. No bubbles. No, it disappeared right away, so no. Not silver. Alrighty. We'll do these for two. Get both pair for two. it with paparazzi. Next we're going to do bracelets. I have some pretty bracelets here. This pendant here is missing a stone which I'm looking for but I also believe that this had something hanging from it but I'm not sure. I need to go back in my Etsy shop and look at the one I sold. That is so pretty. It was it had nothing missing on it in the Etsy shop. But I love this. And if I can't fix it, I'm going to use it in a, in a rhinestone picture frame thing that I do. Where I make um, Christmas trees or wreaths. This is just a beaded bracelet. Nice color. Neutral color. And we'll do that for a dollar. We have an owl. A little rhinestone eyes. Toggle class. This is adorable. Here's the back. It doesn't have a name on it. We'll do that for three. Very cute. Very cute. I thought about keeping it. Oh, it is a locket, by the way. That's even better. I just saw the hinges on it. Hinges on the back here, so let's open it up. Here's the inside. Very nice. Three dollars. Love it. Love it. Three. Adorable. The next I have is this bracelet here with this beautiful golden beads. This is very weighty and it's not magnetic. So I'm thinking it's brass, gold over brass. And then we also have this beautiful sparkly bangle. I'm going to put with it and do both of them for three. Now it is magnetic, but this one is not, and it's all brass beads. That's what I'm guessing either gold over copper or gold over brass, but it has a nice weight to it. Both bracelets do. And that's three dollars for both of them. All right, what else do I have? I have this beautiful silver rose bracelet. It's got a lobster claw clasp and an extender. Here's the back. It is silver tone. We'll do that for three. We have these bangles here that look really good together. We'll do those for three. 
this one I'm not able to test the stones it's a fold over clasp and it's got an extended clasp here so you can adjust this it's got two so right now with both on let's see how long it is very pretty bracelet infinity and then the blue stone yeah with both it's eight and a quarter and with one it would be seven and a half we'll do that one for five this one here i believe is silver so we got some tarnishing on it. Let's see. Let me rub it where that tarnish is. Maybe it's not silver. Okay. It's not marked. It does turn a bright blue, but it kind of breaks up. So I don't know if it's heavily coated. Or if it's silver, I am looking for a mark on it. It's got these little tiny stones in here. And they're all there. Yeah, that blue is still there. So it's definitely got a lot of silver on it. I just don't know if it's totally... Because there's no marking on it. I'm always suspicion, suspicious if it does, is not marked. Very cute. It has the etched flower. Almost looks like a butterfly. And each of them have a tiny little rhinestone in there. Or CZ, I'm not sure which. Here it is. It's still blue. We're going to do this one for eight. Just because I'm unsure. Because it's heavy in weight. And you're getting a great deal if it is all silver. And you're still getting a good deal if it's not. Because it's beautiful. I tell you, silver is hard to win. I spend hours and hours trying to get good deals for you guys. Eight. All right. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for this jar. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who also like jewelry. And, um, because we have plenty, plenty for everybody. Hit that notification bell if you'd like to know when we put up a new video, once you subscribe. And, um, I appreciate your comments. Appreciate you coming in and saying hello. That's always pleasant. It, it lets me know that you're doing okay or you're still here. And that's important. Um, I've had a few of my jewelry friends pass away, and I don't like to be surprised hearing it somewhere else. So, if I don't hear from you a while, you might get an email from me if I have my total mind together. And let's see, that's going to be it for today. 
Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.